Hard to believe it was just snowing here a few days ago. What a beautiful day. So, we have a bus to work on, and hopefully we get to it. I'm hoping we can lift the bus and get some more bolts out, but maybe the weather is actually more conducive to another endeavor first. Since it is so dry and everything else, maybe we can get that taken off today. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to go and do the morning chores of, you know, coffee and run to the store quickly <laughs> type things first and then we'll figure out exactly what we're doing anyways oh, and I got a, a new seat belt to put in um, it turns out the buckle that I got the replacement buckle actually matches the the seat belt that's on there right now so I may only be replacing the buckle we'll see um, I don't know but I have a I have an appointment set up um, to put in new injectors that are on their way here. Um, that's in a couple weeks. Hopefully we can get this thing up to snuff a little bit, and then we can hope nap that, get it get it power washed, and and get some acetone and stuff out to clean out the rest of this crap and then we can actually prime it properly and paint it in theory but we'll see Lot, lots of plans for the future not quite sure what we're gonna do today you know went off to Harbor Freight and actually got some torque wrenches and stuff um, miscellaneous and some cleaning stuff and uh, a uh, interesting grip wrench thingy that might help us that green item there might actually help us with some of the bolts and tight quarters we'll see and also got the scraper out again in case maybe we can uh, get to the, the school bus sign on the front we shall see okay it's not perfect but i've sewn along through here as well hold it in a little bit better um, I think I'm done with the top end. Now, well, I'm going to consider doing the bottom side here. Uh, we'll see. Well, got the seat done. The bottom of the seat, anyway. Um, did that one last night and this today. I also put a, tacked a few switches down here to hold that corner in. Turns out that the... <laughs> The um, elastics have popped apart, so I'll have to fix that as well. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's pretty much done. I might tack in a few more stitches to hold things in a few places, but it seems to be ready, pretty much. Um, especially once the elastics are back in. Anyway, it's been a slow weekend, on purpose. <laughs> okay, I got the old... Um, the old seat belt buckle off and put on the new one. Unfortunately, the bolt didn't match, so I had to take the bolt out of the old one and put it in. Oh, the the bolt somehow didn't match. Anyways, and it looks like I need to excuse me. I need to hook up the um, the elastics again underneath. But I took out the the metal plate that was on the floor. It's apparently hiding some wiring harnesses. They're all going to have to come up eventually once we pull up the floor anyway, so... Um, felt like the right thing to do at the time. I had to use some uh, some deep creep to... see from deep creep to get a couple of the, of the screws out. Because they were rusted pretty hard. But, yeah. A little bit better. So now I'm going to see if I can get underneath the seat and hook, hook all this back up again. And I found my needle nose pliers so once they're hooked up I'll actually um, clamp them closed too and then it shouldn't come apart again anyways that's where we are <laughs> 